Welcome to Casita Maria Center for Arts and Education. We are live in the Casita Maria Gallery. I'm your sofrito host, Rina Valentin, and today is the last day of the South Bronx Culture Trail Festival 2020, Sofrito. And we're celebrating Bronx culture with a performance and interview with freestyle artist, The Cover Girls. Let's give it up for The Cover Girls. Inside and out. We want to thank Casita Maria for having us here today. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here with you guys. I want to see everybody out there. I want to feel the vibe of you moving at home. Come on, let's do this. Can you feel it? Oh. Hey guys, just because we're not with you physically, feel us. Get up and dance. Let's go. Try on a girl with a funky rhythm. Woo! Yeah. We're gonna keep this party going, you guys. It's time to dance with the cover girl. What? All right, once again. First live show back. We are in your living room. There's plenty of room. It's just you and us. Here we go. All right, guys. You know the cover girls miss and love you. Our hearts beat for you. Let's go. My heart is beat every time we meet. I don't know what to do. I'm so in love with you. My heart gives to beat every time we meet. I don't know what to do. Can't you feel that beat? Feel it beat. Something in your eyes. Something in your smile brightens up my day. I just can't help myself. You make me feel this way. And there's nothing in this world, nothing in this world I wouldn't do for you. Everything will be so fun.
Bronx set. We're gonna kick it old school. Follow us from home. Take it to your left, hup, hup, to the right, to your back. Oh. partying out there. I hope so because I we're hope. having a blast over here. We have our people over here. The crew, dancing. the small crew is what, what? throwing up the hands. Yes, they <laughs> are. Oh, they, it's they it's are. amazing. Mr. I wish you guys saw the Ms. vibe Valentin in the studio. over there, she's, oh, I'm feeling the love. I'm feeling we the are, love We here. are, we are. Do you guys have a nice cocktail? Because <laughs> it's about to get really, really saucy in here. Oh my God. Are we it's ready, guys? This is live. It's been a minute. Okay. So ready? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Let's see what I can do with this. I'm wishing on a star to follow where you are. I'm wishing on a dream to follow what it means. I'm wishing on Hey girl. 
Oh, come on. tell you that I was sweating up a storm How about you guys <laughs> at home <laughs> are you sweating it up hey, Casita Maria Casita Maria Casita eh, eh, Maria eh, eh, Casita eh, eh. Maria eh, 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 eh. all right guys in all seriousness we're so honored to be closing out the festival Absolutely. of 2020 it is an honor and just for it to be our first show back Absolutely. whether we're in front of you live or just reaching out to you at home, we're glad that you guys are staying safe. Absolutely, and absolutely. we can do washa, it. Washa, washa, washa. Do you remember that from Greece? <laughs> washa, washa, wash those hands, keep the face mask on, and pra practice social distancing. Even though, are we? It's no, okay, but, but it's all right. I haven't seen all you right. in a minute, girl. I know, I miss you guys, <laughs> I love you. All right, here we go, are we ready? Let's are we that. ready? Are we ready? We're ready, we're ready, here we go.
guys. All right. This is the last song. And this is where we're going to show love in this world. Show me. Show me some love. <laughs> Let's show each other some love. Let's live in peace. Let's do this right. All right? All you need is love. Love. All love is all you need. Oh, you like that? I just put that. All right, guys. This is your final song. So if you haven't started dancing yet, we don't know what you're waiting for. Let's go. Here we go. go. There's a party in your living room. There's a party in Casita Maria. In the boogie Casita. down. Casita Maria. That's my, that's my catchphrase now. I'm going to sing this everywhere. You see that you really love me. I'm always on your mind.
have a little sit down and get to know each other better. Sorry to be so sweaty. Woo, thank yes. you, Evelyn, Lorraine, Hello. Sabrina. Hi, holla. Welcome, welcome, and I love the extra casita, casita, Maria. I like that, right? Yeah. I like that. But I didn't know you could sing. Uh, I didn't know I could sing either. Woo. I'm just fanning, I'm just fanning, like literally fanning. Oh my gosh, it's such a pleasure to meet you ladies up close and personal. Thank you so much. It's a Thank pleasure for us to be it. here. Thank you for being with us during these unprecedented times. Yeah. I know, you. do you need to catch your breath? Would you like a, a glass of water? Good. We're yeah. good. We're okay, just you're sweaty. good. You're good. It's so, good. It is what it is. It is what it is. We're gonna gonna get. Well, we're live and we're going to keep yes. rolling, right? And, and you know, uh, we just want to give everybody a little more insight about the cover girls and, and the different renditions you've gone through. I know, Evelyn, you've been the longest member. Like, uh -huh. share a little bit about your, what your journey's been. I'm the marinated member. Ah. And I am privileged and proud of being that marinated because I'm representing. She's legendary. That's right. Ooh, I am legendary. legendary. I like that. <laughs> well, thank you. Yes, it's been an uh, honor, a journey. It's just been a blessing that's all i can really say so how many years have you been doing oh, this do we have to go in okay deal? we don't have to do the exact numbers i know that you ladies have been performing together for 18. yes uh -huh. together as a group this this version of the cover girls 18 years together yes. and strong and that's a long time love it is. it is it's longer than some of my marriages oh, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that omg oops <laughs> Oh, we did say up close and personal. Oh, That's a it. She did. She did. So I also thought it was important for people to understand that you also have lives outside of this. And, and it's one thing to be out there and performing for the masses, uh, traveling extensively and carrying on the, the classic urbans, right? The urban classics is what freestyle is pretty much considered. And, and doing that for so many years, you, you, you have a life outside of that. So I thought it would be interesting for everyone to get to know you on, on, a, on a separate note, right? So... Sabrina, I understand you sell real estate. I do. I do sell real estate. It's a new fun venture that um, that it's been awesome. You know, it's it's kind of it's one of those things that when you love people and you love to be around people and you're charismatic, it's like it comes second nature. And um, it's always been kind of a thing that I've wanted to do. Um, I did it at the wrong time when in the middle of a pandemic, but I'm killing it even now. So it's been like really challenging and really fun. And she's but gonna have more business now. Well, now that they know. So if y'all need a house, I'm your girl. <laughs> <laughs> and if you need a trainer, she's your girl. Oh, yeah, I yeah. understand that you're into boxing and it's I very am. noticeable. Oh, yeah. oh, thank you. So thank uh, you. And unlike the rest of us who, who you know, got... Uh, I, I gained Rona fat is what they call oh, what I'm calling it. And you look like fat. you were like working think, overtime. You look fabulous. Oh, thank stop, you. Stop that. Rona looks good on you, girl. Mm. It looks good on you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's but what yes. we're gonna name it. A little <laughs> bit of fitness here and there. So, Evelyn, you yes. work with the DOE. I, I don't do. know what that's been for you. It's been crazy. <laughs> Absolute madness. Do tell. Yes, I mean, you know, this whole conversion oh and just having to automatically become tech experts. Yes, I. you know what? I am very tech savvy now. Oh, there now, you go. Now, let me tell you, they got me on my P's and Q's, but I love working for the Board of Education. I like being around the children. I'm not a teacher, but I am part of, like, administration, um, and I do deal with children, and they are absolutely fabulous. You learn something new every day with these kids, and I actually miss them. Especially pre-K. I love pre-K. I know. They're like, Mrs. Calera. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> It's a, oh my gosh, I know. I, we, I miss just being in the presence of people, so I'm super excited to be up close and personal with you, not only because you're the cover girls, but because I'm like, oh, people. people. Oh, <laughs> like, we're so excited. We're like, oh, oh, it feels dirty. Like, we shouldn't be doing this. Oh my gosh. We're like in, uh, like, uh, like an underground mm -hmm. market. Or I know. Something. What, what, what was, uh, uh, I they saying prohibition? <laughs> oh no, we are. We are. We're doing the six feet distancing. And Lorraine, uh, I understand you are uh, working with uh, the corporate world. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm the corporate one of the group. I'm the business end of the group. They always call me that. Um, so, yeah, I work in human resources um, at PepsiCo, and I've been there for about 15 years. And we're also closed right now. Um, Working from home? Working from home, I should say. While homeschooling or distance learning or e-learning or whatever you want to call it. Remote learning everything. That has been very interesting, <laughs> to say the least, trying to uh, not fail at my job and have my child not fail at school. It's been a juggling act, but school is over. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, I couldn't be happier. I don't know. I 
have mixed feelings about that as a mom. I need a t-shirt. <laughs> you made it. Distance learning. <laughs> yeah, it's distance learning, but now it's going to happen in the summer. I have mixed feelings about the school being over. I know. That's true. But at least, no, seriously, you guys, trying to get her to do her school. Her schoolwork <laughs> was a challenge. So uh, the fact that we don't have to, to, to go through that battle every day, I'll take it. How old is she? <laughs> Six. Six. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's Mine little. Is ten, so she was somewhat yes. self-sufficient. Yes. I have know? an older one, and she was definitely coasting and cruising. But that little one, woof. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> but she's the best. I love her. And I love that you ladies also mentioned that this is your first live performance since uh, yes, these unprecedented is. times. And that's yeah. all the name I'm going to give it because we all know that we've been on the quarantine. We all know that there's a pandemic that we're all still, you know, enduring and, and it's traveling and what, we're in a better place now. However, um, the reason that uh, I brought this up is because as women, we tend to multitask on a higher scale. <laughs> and and, and I, I just bow to ladies like, such as yourself who make it their business to still make it out there and do live performances on stage because they, it's, it's taxing. I mean, you know, I get that you're familiar with the songs, you're familiar with the steps, but still, that's a whole nother addition to everything else that you're already dealing with, yeah. right? Because yeah. you're like the CEOs of your households, right? But you know, but yeah, but you know what's nice, what's what's awesome is that we have this outlet. You know, like we get to, it's funny because we called Lorraine Wonder Woman, you know, coming from the car real quick and I can only imagine what went on at home and then you just spin and you're like, and magically I'm in costume and ready to perform. It's like, you know, it's a whole other uh, facet of what we do and we're lucky that we get this outlet and we get to be like put on makeup and just perform so it's really it's a blessing it's an extra kind of fun thing that we get I to agree. share and we like each other i know so i was gonna do. say that we like yeah. each other we're like hi girl how you doing i can tell that aside from performing together and having great chemistry that you genuinely feel for each other Absolutely. that there's a sisterhood here yeah. and i would imagine there has to be if you're traveling extensively mm -hmm. or for so many years i mean you've grown together yes yeah. yes yeah That's definitely sure. definitely they already know each other so i kind of had to sneak in the in the crew you know <laughs> wait a minute wait a minute you're the long the I longest know. She okay wait wait wait, wait, wait. She together. Us as, a, as a couple oh my gosh <laughs> I met you guys knew each other yes coming into the group yes yeah we, we've been best friends since we were nine years old <laughs> i'm the outsider stop the it outcast. that's not true that is not guys that's not they true. only dealt with me because they had to that's but then i grew on them <laughs> <laughs> no, this is my soul sister. That's yeah, what we, that's yeah. what we call each other. Yeah, um, that's my best friend, and that's yeah. my soul sister. We have such a love and a respect for each other. Definitely. So I got to be honest with you. I grew up on this music. Uh, this is part of my my upbringing, right? We're not going to talk age. Uh, <laughs> but, but, but you know, I used to go see you ladies in Latin quarters. I used to see you at Roseland, ten eighteen. Fuego, 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 yeah, we're going to keep doing so. <laughs> so, mm. uh, so many years later, still performing the same songs, like, what does that feel like for you to get the reactions that you do? Because now it's being passed on to generations, right? Because my daughter's familiar with this music. She's only 10, so it's going to keep going on and on and on. What is that for you? What does it feel like for both, all, all three of you? A blessing. Yeah. It's such a blessing. And we actually love it. So, you know what I mean? Like, what better? What better? We can get on a stage. We can perform. We express ourselves through songs, mm -hmm. you know. And and, and you like know, you said, it's it's it, it it brings people back to a time. Even though the new generations, like my little ones, also know the songs and they'll be show me, mm -hmm. right? But um, for the generation that grew up with it, right, then they they come to the shows. And they are transported to that time in their life when they were out clubbing and, you know, just carefree. And so we feed on that. Yeah. It just, I hope it they don't share us. those stories with their kids because that's not cute. No, but, th <laughs> but think about it. What other genre of music is, um, is not forgotten that you actually hear a child singing? Yeah. I, I mean, let's just say, I don't know. Usher, like uh, my 10 year old or my six year olds will never, or two year olds will never know Usher, but she, that girl wakes up singing, show me, my mommy sings, show me, show me, show me. <laughs> it's just like this, this genre of music that definitely is generational. And because of that. And cultural well, too. Yes, and when we're legendary, 
What? Legendary? We'll but see you are legendary. Yeah. What because, do you mean when? Because Come these on. children will still be singing this song. Of course, but you are legendary. That's the whole point of this conversation. Thank you. Because You're it's so already sweet. being passed on from generation to generation. I mean, <laughs> Sal sells out. You I know, know. Oh, Sal, Sal is legendary. We got to shout out Sal. We got to shout out Sal. <laughs> Sal is the original we love you, Sal. He's number so one <laughs> cover girl, Mr. Salvatore Abatelli. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let anybody tell you different. Mm -mm. Don't let anybody tell you different. He's the master. So, in closing, um, and and really, you know, take this in. We we we're, we've all been dealing with like this these unprecedented times that have uh, left us in this place of solace and and solitude and reflectiveness and um, almost e even reinventing ourselves. Right, I, I feel like it's almost inevitable that we all went through this metamorphosis. Coming out now, after all that time that you've been locked up, for lack of a better word, quarantine was kind of like being self-locked up with your family, thank God for that. Um, what uh, have you taken from what we've all experienced and how has this time affected each and every one of you? Like, please, and take your time about yeah. it. Um, well, you know, thanks to places like Casita Maria, you know, where kids can come and get together and they can get off the streets. And, you know, Lorraine and I grew up in a place very similar to this, um, where you did your homework, where you learned the arts, where you learned music. Um, I think we're developing and we're teaching our children to have a voice. And now more than ever, they're learning a different way and they're living a different life. It, we will never see these times again as children, um, and I think our children are learning to really figure things out for themselves finally and have this voice that, uh, I mean, they were drowned out for so long because we were so noisy, but this pause has made us hear our kids. Right. And now they're standing up, and now they're, they're being proactive, and I think that this is super important uh, for this time, and I'm seeing that right now more than ever. That's a wonderful observation, right? Because again, uh, with us as adults having to just convert our entire life into this remote style of everything, right? My home became a studio. Yeah. It, it's a lot of things. It's a school. I even renamed it Chari Executive Suite yes. because it's a shared working space. You know, Chari, Cha is my daughter's name, Charm, and Rina, you know, Re is for Rina. And, and I'm just sharing because uh, there, it's been one thing after the other. Um, and as mothers, right? Um, which we are, um, seeing the, the psychological impact the pandemic has had and that now the social inequities that are coming into the forefront uh, and the noises that are being made in, in, from so many different angles, uh, it's their world we're fighting for. Mm -hmm. That's right. That You said that beautifully. It is, because they're the future. So you said that beautifully. Oh, thank you, thank you. I, I was actually looking at Evelyn because Evelyn works with the DOE, and, yeah. and that that's a big responsibility. Yeah, a big responsibility. And yeah. and you know the the whole fight right now is to defund the police to fund DOE. Right, right. Well, I was put on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> I just had a whole little. You know what I've taken from this besides the DOE? Please don't get me started. Um, <laughs> We need to appreciate what we have because a lot of the times we complain. Right. We complain. And in a sense, everything was taken away from us. We were locked up. We're doing time. Right. Without having doing the crime. Right. And guess what? Now you like reflect and say, man, I miss this. I right. miss that. That freedom. It has given us a chance to maybe appreciate it more. So now it's never going to be the same, but the best is yet to come. I love that. I love that. Oh. <laughs> she give herself her own theme music. <laughs> I would just echo the girls, you know, it, um, or piggyback on top of them. It's really been a time to kind of just pause and reflect and listen and learn and spend time with the family that, honestly, I didn't have beforehand because working uh, in corporate America, performing as a cover girl, 
Girl Scout troop leader, class mom, like soccer mom, like you name it. It's crazy. It's crazy town. And, and life is just a whirlwind. And so being able to wake up every day and have breakfast at a normal pace, not where I'm like screaming to finish your food or, you know, all of that kind of stuff, or have dinner together and play Scrabble together and sit outside in the backyard. Like it's just all, all of this um, extra time that, um, gave us a moment to just slow down and appreciate, like Evelyn said, um, because life goes so fast. And, um, you know, I, I feel very fortunate to have, you know, the life that I have. And so this, this time has been um, really helpful in the sense that it's been a, it's been a break um, from, from normal life and um, it's been an opportunity to listen and, um, and learn and find out how, you know, I can help. And so um, I know I said in closing, but um, what I meant was like as we allude to the closing, uh, <laughs> right? Because uh, uh, we could just sit here and talk yeah. all night, which uh, this is a very important conversation that needs to be had because um, I feel that women need to have more of a voice and be understood in their roles of, of not solely just being a mom or, or being that uh, mentor, right? Because it, it kind of comes with our, our it instinctively to yeah. be nurturers, uh, but to be able to multitask on the scale and, and to, be at, to have all of this additional stuff added and be mindful of the fact that this is all with the intent of make, leaving things better than we found them. In your words, and whatever comes to you in doing what it is that you do, and because Casita Maria, Center for Arts and Education, it, they house a lot of kids. Best is yet to come, and don't let anyone tell you any different. You do what you do, you dream big, and you go for what you want in your heart. Believe you me, that's the very key. Dream, and the best is yet to come. That's beautiful. I would say, um, you know, I think Sabrina mentioned earlier, we grew up at a place similar to um, Casita Maria uh, in the Bronx, and um, it's a treasure to, to be able to have that. You know, I look back on those memories, like it was such a big part of my, of my youth, and I'm happy for you guys that you have that, and know that Casita Maria is here for you, ready to, uh, to welcome you back when the time is right. And so, um, you know, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. This is not forever. We will get through this, and we will be all the better for it. And so, um, I would like to work for Casita Maria. Can I? Work? <laughs> Please? I'm like, I do voice lessons. Absolutely. I'm Ooh, telling you, that's how brilliant. Lorraine and I started <laughs> singing and dancing. We did something very similar to this, an art and program. I thought you were the businesswoman. Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> well, she's like, hint, hint. I want to work for Casita come for Maria. Me. I think yeah. it's a wonderful idea. I think it's a wonderful idea because. Uh, to have the, the next generation and so on and so on know that you ladies are accessible, right? Because there's that other aspect of it. It's like uh, these, the next generation and, and just in the urban environment, the uh, fame and, and celebrity, and the, everybody's kind of like hypnotized by that. But yet there's the reason I wanted to bring out the other side of who you ladies are is because there's a balance that's required. Right, because um, while you have been able to generate revenue off of what you do, it isn't your sole stream of revenue, and the reason is is because you have good times and you know off peak, peak and off peak, yeah, right? Absolutely. And so, I think that's another important component to what it is that you ladies do. Um, you've been able to survive, and 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 I say survive like the the song, the music, your presence. Your, your physique, right? Because it's important. No, you know, you, to, to make sure that you're working out and that you're getting the dance routines down like that, that to me is, is like honoring your craft. Yes. yes. Right? It is. Absolutely. I think it's, um, you know, and we throw it right back at you. What you do is a craft and it's a, it's a talent. And, you know, there are a lot of us out there doing this and honing in on their crafts because of this time. So it's actually even... I, we're all going to come out being like experts at things. Look at Evelyn. She's finally got technology. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> I finally joined Facebook. 
<laughs> she did. I know. I saw her. Now you blew her. it up. Now everyone's oh, looking for you now. Oh, my goodness. I was she so was excited, excited when I saw that. that. Like, no, yeah. there's too many stalkers. Yeah. And too, I wa- I'm obsessed with the ID channel. Not good. So that's why. But other than that, yeah. She, she but you finally, finally did it. You joined. You yeah. came to the dark side. It took a pandemic. <laughs> I got lonely. <laughs> yes. I needed you needed friends. some friends. Oh Hilarious. And I got to say, this, it's such a treat for me. Really, I'm not just saying it. I, I love your music. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so and, and I play it for my daughter because, for me, it's an era that uh, is very meaningful to me. And the fact that we have been... Uh, this whole South Bronx Culture Trail has been virtual throughout the entire month of wow. June. Wow. And this is the first live performance we've had Yay. in yeah. person. Yay. Thank you, crew, for this, too. Yes. Right? Yes. Thank you guys, guys for coming Bronx out. Yes. Thank you, Bronx Thank you Bronx 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 Nice work. Bronx I mean. Net, who I also happen to work for. I'm the nice. host of their signature mm. show, Open. Yes. This is so much better than us doing I it in the living it. room. Absolutely. Ooh, girl. <laughs> okay, try to figure out who's living yes. room. Thank you. But can I take a moment to just thank the fans the fans, they absolutely have been with us through it all, through the changes, through the ups and downs, through the pandemic. And we thank you and we do it for you because you're the one that motivate us to keep it going, to keep it going. So thank you, thank you, and thank you. Yes. Bravo, Lorraine, oh, Evelyn, Sabrina. Thank you. The cover girls so fun. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us, guys. Thank you so much. Capita Maria. Bronx Net, Rena, thank you. Thank Can you we so take much. her with us on the road? Yeah, when she's we like go the back? ultimate hype woman. <laughs> I love her. So, <laughs> woo, gotta love that. On the job, finding more work. Woo. All right, you guys, up next we have Brenda K. Star, who many of us know started out as a freestyle artist and is also internationally recognized as a leader in the Latin music explosion for many years now. So she pre-recorded the video we are about to see last week, specifically for Casita Maria's South Bronx Culture Trail Festival 2020 Sofrito. <laughs> Let's give it up for Brenda K. Star. Enjoy. Woo Hello everyone, it's Brenda K. Star. I want to welcome each and every one of you to the Cultural Trail Festival and to Casita Maria por invitarme por este concierto virtual. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much. God bless you. And please remember to keep your social distance six feet apart. And I hope you enjoy this concert. We love you. Te amo con todo mi corazón y gracias por todo su apoyo. Gracias, Casita Maria.
one of you who is joining us tonight that's right thank you so much i hope you are safe and you're continuing your social distancing as we are right here in the studio i guess they're a little bit close but it's still not we're all here tonight um i would like to cantar esta es una canción muy importante para mí it's one of my favorite and it's one of my first songs that i recorded as a young girl at 14 years old and esta canción se titula i still believe yo creo en ti
yourself at home tonight, and uh, we are so happy to be here for each and every one of you. Muchísimas gracias a todos ustedes por todo su apoyo. We still got some more great music. Vamos a seguir con más música. Here we go. <laughs>
How's everybody feeling tonight? But you know what? Before we go into this next song, I grew up in New York City, in Manhattan, at the Ooh. Rice Tower Projects. And my favorite part about living in Los Proyectos was Los Escaleras, going down the stairs and listening to the acoustics. And there was one song that I remember and that I said, I wish this could be the song that I recorded as a young girl. And it was a song done by a group called Cobra. And I don't know, every time I want to just have that urgency to sing. Remember, I'm saying a little bit of it tonight, even though we're doing a side session tonight. Go ahead, Brenda. Remember that song, Tammy? You Show me. Right. Yes. You say that you really love me. I'm always on your mind. And you say that if we were lovers, we could spend so much time.
seen of you, uh -huh. the premeditation, you broke my heart in two. Mm -hmm. But now that I see that you're not loving me, uh -huh. oh baby, can't you see? You ready, guys?
wrapping up this concert that we gave you guys tonight, but I want to thank each and every one of you for attending and watching and showing your love, and to each and every one of you, remember to keep your social distancing, and uh, can't wait to be back in the clubs, Casita Maria and the Cultural Trail Festival. Thank you for having us. We love you. Mwah. Te amo con todo mi corazón. Y que vive la salsa! Make sure you guys download the new single, Tu Vida La Mía. Te amo y muy buena noche. Here in the South Bronx, thousands of cultures come together to weave a tapestry of artistic styles that are like nothing else in this world. Through times of civil unrest, art and culture have been central in raising awareness while simultaneously offering healing spaces and community connection. As we remain focused on the call to end systemic racism and end violence towards black and brown people in this country, Casita Maria is proud to hold the South Bronx Culture Trail Festival as a celebration of art, dance, and music that brings us joy and uplifts the resilience, pride, and unity that is ever so present in our community. I'm Rina Valentin, and on behalf of Casita Maria Center for Arts and Education, we really hope you enjoy traveling with us virtually and musically through our Bronx cultural history. Go sofrito. We'll see you next year. Adios.
You are watching independent access programming on BronxNet. The producer of this program is solely responsible for its content. If you're interested in creating your own show, please visit BronxNet.tv. Hola a todos y bienvenidos a Diálogo Abierto. Soy Javier e. Gómez. En el programa de hoy, entérate qué es lo próximo para DACA luego de un veredicto de la Corte Suprema en cuanto a esta legislación. Nos hablan el abogado César Vargas y también Judith Prado de la organización La Colmena. Luego, el Departamento de Policía de la Ciudad de Nueva York ha anunciado un aumento en la cantidad de tiroteos, asesinatos, robos, agresiones y otros delitos. El activista, abogado y profesor Jaime Estades nos da su reacción al respecto. Además, conoce lo más reciente en cuanto a la reapertura de la ciudad en la fase 2. Quédate con nosotros que ya comenzamos con un nuevo diálogo abierto. Soy negro, blanco, taino, mulato, caribeño, bueno, latinoamericano, dominicano. Arroz con huevo, tambor y mambo, soy sincero, del pueblo no temiendo, un chamaquito con un sueño que trae coherencia. Hola a todos, estamos en Diálogo Abierto, soy Javier e. Gómez. Les recuerdo que esta semana, a partir del lunes 22 de junio del 2020, comienza la fase 2 de la reapertura de la ciudad. Esto significa que los restaurantes, además de servir comida para llevar, ahora pueden servir comida para comer al aire libre. Además, se permite comprar en tiendas y se permite también acudir a barberías y salones de belleza con cita previa y estos establecimientos eh, solo pueden operar al 50% de capacidad. También se permite la reapertura de iglesias, los servicios de bienes raíces, los concesionarios de autos y negocios de alquiler de auto también eh, pueden continuar, eh, pueden comenzar a operar y las áreas de juego infantil en los parques también van a reabrir. Eh, pero, bien importante, todo esto está sujeto a las normas de distanciamiento social. Esos seis pies de distancia hay que seguirlos teniendo, es súper importante. Y también eh, eh, las normas de higiene. Entiéndase el hand sanitizer y todo lo demás de lavarse las manos, continuar utilizando mascarillas y demás. Eh, ya con eh, temas de, actualizados de esta semana, eh, recientemente hubo una decisión federal en cuanto a DACA que está dando mucho de qué hablar y para explicarnos eh, de qué se trata esto y qué podemos esperar en el futuro con esta legislación, damos la bienvenida a César Vargas, abogado, y también a Judith Prado de la organización La Colmena. Bienvenido. Muchas gracias por la invitación. Gracias, ¿Qué, gracias. ¿Qué significa esta eh, decisión de la Corte Suprema? Pues en este momento lo que está significando es que la Corte de Justicia ya decidió que el presidente uh, 